Let's see how you can connect your form to your Slack channel and get updates as soon as someone submits a form. Hi everyone, in this video I want to show you how you can integrate your Slack channel with your form so you receive updates as soon as someone submits it. And let's go. So for this tutorial I'm going through a bug tracking template uh, that is in the templates gallery and you can pick it. It has a table for bugs and issues. Anyone in the team can report bugs and issues and set its priority and status stuff like this and the team can say this one is duplicate and change the status of the, the bugs and issues and here is a camera view of the data of the bugs and issues and you can track the status of each uh, of these issues yep this is the app i'm going through and whenever someone submits a new bug i want to receive it in our slack channel so that everyone gets notified and they can go through it and fix it yep here is in my application and Let's say I want to create a new row here and report a new issue. So for example, whenever I submit something in this table, I want to receive a notification in my Slack channel. So let's see how it works. I get to my dashboard. Here is the folder of my application and I get to the bugs and issues formulae. Here in the integration and webhooks tab, I can connect uh, my formulae to Slack. So uh, remember that you should set uh, the connection on the formula that you want to receive updates on. Here in my app, I have different tables. For example, here is my table of bugs and issues. Here is my table of features. And here is my table, table of team. So I don't want to receive an update on the table of team or table of features, but I want to receive updates on the table of bugs and issues. So I, I will get to the formula that is uh, that contains the data of my bugs and issues and get to the integrations and webhooks tab. And here I can connect it to Slack. By clicking on it, you can add a new access to your Slack channel, or you can choose from the channels you've added before. So I will click on add new access. And from here, I can change the workspace I want to give access to. So for example, here I can select the general channel and click allow, and it will allow access to my Slack channel and voila. So here we go. And now that you have given the access, you can choose the channel. And from this list, you can say the general channel and save. Okay, so here I have created a new private Slack channel to send my notifications here and I should give access to it. So I get back to my integrations at Webhook, connect to Slack, and add new access. The same thing, but this, but this time I will choose this one, this channel that I have created. So, so I click on hello and voila. So uh, I have uh, given access to my channel and now I will choose it from the list. Perfect. Uh, I don't want it to, to be sent to general, so I remove it and click save. Perfect. Now I have uh, connected it to here. And if I go back to my Slack channel, I see that here I have received the message. So um, I start submitting my row and say, perfect. I click on submit and here I have my new uh, response here. And if I get back to my Slack channel, you see that um, I have received a new message that says um, that a new response has been received on the bugs and issues and it has a link to my form and also to my response so I can edit it and manage it and work on it. So yep, yeah, it was this easy. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you have any questions, just comment down below and let us know what you think about this integration and what other integrations you want to see in Formaloo. Have a nice day and bye for now.